The idea of this assignment is to have multiple layers, such as the window in some weird critter in the background, and erase through the window to reveal what's behind it. This is an exercise in making straight lines with your eraser and using the select tool. I'm going to provide two options, a hard one and an easy one. So when looking for a window, you can find easy windows or difficult windows. I'm going to start with the difficult window to see to show you what it's like. Give yourself a challenge. You could save it. Or you can copy the URL address. Either way, you can open the URL address or open the file that you've downloaded. Make sure it says JPEG at the bottom or at the end. You open the window first. That way, we can resize the other object behind it. Now this one looks small. If it doesn't fit that square, it's not a good size photo. Even better, you can go to Tool Size Large and get the better quality photo of most anything. Here, I like this one here. And I'm gonna, I could save it, or I can do copy the URL. In this case, I'm gonna save it. Here in Pixelr, I'm going to go to Layer, Add Image from File, and there's my Godzilla. And now I need to move this, oh, hang on a second. First I want to resize this, it's probably, it's, you know, I'm not seeing all of it, so I'm going to go to Layer. Um, Edit, free transform, and then I can move it around, grab the corners, and resize it, like most any other program. It's called free transform. You don't want to stretch it, so you want to make sure it looks normal. I accidentally stretched it. You can hold shift and it won't stretch. And then you have to hit apply or enter, and then undo the bottom layers lock so that you can move it on to the top and going to find your eraser and you can start erasing with whatever size brush you like oops too big control z undo how about a smaller brush there we go i can do some erasing uh too aggressive too aggressive how about i See, I got the roof there. I'm thinking, you know what? I want to keep the roof. So I'm going to undo that. This time I'm going to race, but not necessarily hit the roof. I'm also going to take the brush size down a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in. Hold uh, click, shift, click. That is, you hold, you click once, and then you shift click again. And I do that a bunch of times to make straight lines. For this window over here, I could erase. But there's this cool tool that allows you to select things and hit the delete key. So hitting delete does the job. Do it for the easy windows. Delete. Select. And delete. That's the, the delete key, not the backspace. So the easy windows. I want to zoom in, see how you're doing there. Now, if you don't get it right, you can do, um, you can delete. And then select none over under edit. Take your eraser and clean up. That's too big. 
I'm gonna make a smaller eraser. Click, shift, click, click, shift, click. See, the idea is making straight li lines, you click once and then you shift click again. I'm gonna use the selection tool again here, because it's easy. And let's see, when I get to the roof, I wanna keep the roof, so I'm gonna actually work around the roof a little bit. Again, deselect all, so I can get in there with my eraser, kind of do a better job because I did not select well enough. Click, shift, click, click, shift, click. Yeah. So the idea is to get those pesky areas with the eraser. I'm gonna go up to this here window, I'm going to do the same, click, shift, click, click, shift, click. And anytime you make a mistake, you would just do control Z and undo. So I'm just doing straight lines, straight lines, click, shift, click, to expose the bottom layer. Yeah, you just keep on doing that until all the windows are done. I can keep on doing this, but for now, I want to show you the next cool thing, which is Dodge and Burn. It's right here on the left. It's called Dodge and Burn. Really means dark and light, which is kind of a weird name for it, Dodge and Burn, but whatever. So you come up there and you choose uh, Darken and change the brush size and just click, click a bunch of times to make this look more like a dark outside w rooftop. broken up rooftop that is yeah so you just continue on with the racer you get you know your windows done make sure it's clean make sure make sure make sure there's a little make sure you get everything Once you're done with your window erasing, I'm not really done, but I'm going to show you anyway how to save. I'm going to save your project, or if you're not done, you can still save it this way too, which is your PXD file. The idea here is that you get to uh, save it so you can keep working on it, right? Because you're not going to be done in one class period. So give it a healthy name and then download it to your computer as a PXD file. There you go. Let's take this window for example. It's pretty straight, it has basic rectangles, not a lot of busyness in the scene. So I'm gonna turn this layer off so I can show you my new one. So I copied the layer, so I'm gonna paste the layer URL. Notice it says JPEG at the end. This one's a lot smaller, I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. If it scales up and it's pixely, don't use it. Try another one. You want to have nice, clean-looking images. With this layer selected, I'm going to use the Select tool on the top left. The Select tool is neat because you can actually just make rectangles and hit the Delete key. Pretty easy, right? You can actually move the rectangle afterwards and hit the delete key as well. You can do this for a bit, but not every window is perfect, so you might have to not do that all the time. 
So be, be careful. See, look at the edge there. It's not complete. So I would do select, deselect to turn off that selection. Grab my eraser. Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Um, make the brush a hard, not soft, because we're talking about straight edges here. So you're going to use a hard brush and kind of about that size, I think. Uh, yeah, well, maybe change it up a little bit. Make sure it's a hard brush. And click once. Get up to the top. Shift and click. Straight line. Make a smaller, smaller brush. Get in the corners. No, it's still too big. I can actually pick from down here as well. Uh, that's good enough. There we go. Doing a couple more shift clicks to get there. And then the corner, same thing. Mm, yeah, I'll kind of clean that up there. There we go. I'll go back to my selection tool and try to select this window here. Hit the delete key. Move the selection over. Hopefully it fits. Delete again. Move the selection over. Uh, hit delete again. So what's happening is the window has a little odd shape to it when it, on the right for some reason. So it may not work all the time, but you get the idea. You just make a new selection if, if you have to. Or make minor adjustments. So this one's too big for this window. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to select, deselect. Right, that's that's how you deselect that that region. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see a little better. Ah, right, and then I'm gonna select once again and do it perfect. And hit the delete key. Scroll out. Scroll back in. Now here I wanna. I think I wanna keep the the trees. I could you know finish this project by deleting all the wind, window panels down here. Or I can use the select tool, which is pretty cool. That want select and wand tool, and it selects like regions of areas. It's kind of weird. Nah, that's too much. So don't don't do that. Um, you know, try undo or whatever, and play around with that tool, um, and then take your eraser after you hit select none, and erase. You know, kind of the remainder of that stuff. Change your brush. Not so much. You can use a soft brush here because it's like trees. And uh, yeah. And ooh, that area. Hmm, I think I'll just get a smaller brush. Just kind of touch it up in there. Do a little shift clicking. Yeah. You can't see it when you scroll out, so that's alright. And then I'll crop, crop the background to fit the window. Or, you know, if your window is already too big and you resized it and all that, all right, hit enter after you hit crop. And then save. So we're going to save this project um, for continued use so I can keep using this. Hit download. So PXD format is for continued progress. All right. If you're done, you're going to do File Save and choose PNG. Do the same thing, give it a name. This time I like to use the word Final. When I type things that say Final, I know it's the last version of that project. And then you're going to upload it to Schoology.